Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D Paint. Today I'm just going to do a real quick video on how to do these various JST connectors. Um, I use them a lot. I'm sure everybody else does as well. Uh, the two types I use most are these JST SM connectors, which work like this. And I use those a lot, uh, particularly around the hot end and the fans. Uh, I don't like soldering anything together, so I usually use these types of connections. This lets me take fans off and replace them pretty easily. Same with the hot end and the thermistors. So I'm just going to start with this connector, this connector and show you what I do. First thing I do is start with a piece of wire and make sure they're split apart. Put the wires apart, and then I want bare wires at about three millimeters. So I'm going to put this in here, and I have about three millimeters there. Let's see that. That's about three millimeters bare wire. I'm going to twist it. So it's twisted. So I'll start with this connector. Now this connector, you can see it has two sets of wings. It has a large set of wings on the outside then has a smaller wing on the inside. You can see it right there. Get it closer. And so you have two sets of wings, the larger right here and smaller on the inside. What we're going to do is I have my crimps right here. These crimps have numbers on them. First thing I do is look for the 1.6. And I'm going to insert the connector in. bigger one, I'll use 1.9. So right now I have it set in. You'll notice I've pushed in so the outer wings are outside here. The inner wings are inside the clamp. So I have that held right there. I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to insert the wire in so the casing is touching the edge of the clamp. And then I'm just going to go ahead and crimp it. You'll notice the crimp, the, the smaller wings there are now clamping the wire casing. So that's fairly secure. So now what I'm going to do is bend the larger wings in. So I bend those in some, and then I reinsert it back in. So the big wings are now inside the clamp here. Of 1.9, and I go ahead and finish the clamp. And I have it clamped up. So now, what I'm going to do is let's do the other side. So, again, I'm going to take my wire strippers, I have it stripping about three millimeters. So I'm going to twist that three millimeters. Grab my connector. As I said, these connectors are a little bigger, so we'll go with 
1.9. This time, again, that outside set of wings is on the outside of the clamps. Inside the clamp is the smaller set. So that's in there firmly. So now I'm going to take this wire, insert it into the casing, and clamp it. So that's held in. I'm now going to bend the larger weights inside. bent, insert it into 1.9 again, and clamp it down. So now I have both of these wires in there securely. I'm going to take my JSTM, JSTSM connector, and go on ahead and insert these to the clip. A little metal thing sticking up there, so that clamps in. That keeps it from backing out when this is on. So now that's in securely. And so what I always do is just make sure I can still close this. That still closes. Good. So now let's pull that apart. And I'm going to go to the other side of the wire. And get our connector. Before proceeding, first thing I normally do is just take a look at this and <laughs> how I have these oriented. So, in order for this to work correctly, I need to have black on this side and white, so that way the wires match up. Now if I look real carefully down here, the way these pieces fit in is there's the little grabby thing right there to hold the wire in, so that's going to go in like this, so it'll go in this side. So I'm going to have this sit right like that so I can look at it. And these connectors are connectors I'm going to use to put everything together. So it's very similar to the other connector, but a little smaller. So let's start with the black wire. So strip out, twist the wires. Then I'm going to take this, and this time I think I'll use 1.6. See if that will fit. Yeah, 1.9. So I have the outside larger wings holding everything in place. Stick the wire in. And crimp. I'm going to push larger ones together some. Make that black a little small. Okay. So I'm going to set that in 1.9 and finish crimping. So now I have this wire crimped in. Now just to make sure I'm holding everything correctly. Go ahead and insert this wire. So what I may need to do is do a pair of tweezers to sort of push this in. Okay, black wires in. 
and I just want to test to make sure this still closes. Put it back up together, and the wires are lining up, so black and black white and white. So now let's go ahead and do the white wire. So we're going to strip the white wire. together one side and connector in so the wings are holding it. So the wings should hold it in place. First wings are set. Shrink, make it smaller, the second set of wings. Close them like this. And close in place. Go ahead and insert the white wire. Add some of the little adhesives to sort of push the metal in from the outside. Leverage. Close the wings in place. went in. Start clipping it. There we go. So that's the JST SM connector. See that works pretty well. And like I said, I, this is what I use on my hot ends when I um, install a new fan. That way I can switch out fans. I also use these a lot on both the uh, thermistor Heater. So let me show you how to do just this regular connector, the JST connector. The other connector I use a lot of is this JST SH. And oops, not quite like this. Those are those connectors. So let's go ahead and show you how to connect those. Connections look very similar. These are a little bit smaller, so we can cut the couple. So I have my wires. So let's just start with stripping the three millimeters. Strip down. Get the little bits of metal. Go ahead and insert those in. Now these are smaller, so these will fit to 1.6. So put that in. All right, the outer wings is holding the piece in. The inner wings are actually inside the plant. So we can insert the wire. Clamp down. So what I need to do now is 
push the papers together some. Start this in one point five. So it's crimped together. So that side's crimped. So now I'll do the white wire. So again, three millimeters. Twist the wire. Connector in my left hand. Insert it in the crimps. So the paper ropes are holding the whole metal piece in place. Insert the wire. Crimp it in place. Ones. Put those in 1.9, crimp them, crimp them down. So I have both metal pieces in place. I'm going to insert those. So the little hook thing is towards the hole. That just holds it in place. Tweezers to push them in a little bit. And there they're in. So that's putting together JST connectors. Again, this is Mike from Minimap 3 dp If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. And I'll look forward to any questions or comments you might have. Have a good day.